Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? Well, this one is kind of a few request, and I've been kicking this idea around for a little while. So, today, we're going to start talking about EDC. So stay tuned after we roll the intro, and you can find out exactly what I'm talking about. guys thank you so much for staying past that intro I know today's video is gonna be a weird one okay now I'm gonna take one moment as I always do in my videos <clears throat> and speak to you first-time viewers I want to say thank you so much for finding this video look I know there's a lot of options out there on YouTube and I'm very very grateful that you chose one of mine I mean it, it does mean the world to me so what I need you to do is take a look right down below all right, you're going to see a little channel watermark popping up. Hover over it, click on it. It's going to pull up subscribe. You're going to want to knock that way, knock that out the way early. Sorry, getting tongue-tied today. Because, man, look, we're growing. We're having a lot of fun. And I seriously want you along for the ride. We do a whole bunch of fun things here on the channel. And I don't want you missing any of them. All right, now let's get into the fun. Well, EDC. It's very common with everybody, everywhere. Everybody does it. Sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it. EDC stands for everyday carry. Now, for some, it's just as simple as a wallet or some car keys. And yes, this one is my keychain that I did up. It serves a couple different purposes. But still, these are items that you carry on yourself. Like I said, for some, it's car keys, a wallet, and sunglasses. And you know what? That's totally cool. There's some people out there who think they're playing Call of Duty and got to give themselves this ultimate loadout so they can be, you know, Rambos walking around like, ah. Oh, I've tried to keep things simple. So today, here's my first video on basically what I'm carrying. And this is being shot October 2nd, 2019. I'm going to try to do at least one update every couple months so you can see how I've, tra you know, changed stuff, modified things, or even went with whatever. Now, I've got to say this right up front. Some of these items may not be legal in your area for you to carry every single day. I seriously want you to check your local laws, your local regulations. That way, you're not carrying around something that's going to catch you a charge. All right, so let's start really, really simple. Um, the wedding ring, well, <laughs> I should say the long-time engagement ring. Yeah, it is camo. It is ceramic. No big deal. Haven't broken it. It really has never come off. I kind of like it. That was all black from 22kill.com. In essence, it's you're supposed to wear it on your trigger finger. And when you shake somebody's hand, hopefully they're going to notice it and ask about it. Because it's not like on a ring finger. It's a black ring that's basically there to symbolize those we've lost. Now, I'll usually carry around like, you know, my watch which is the Rockwell Coliseum Raider Project watch, which I got from a battle box a very, very long time ago. But I just added um, Wazoo Survival's little compass with the little glow-in-the-dark night eyes thing on the bottom and the little infrared spotter on the bottom here. So if someone's looking for you and you're holding that up, it's going to glow in night vision like you wouldn't even believe. If you're curious about this one, and a lot of this gear is going to fall in one of two areas. It's either going to fall in this card right up here, which is for um, every bit of gear reviews that we've done. Or let's wait a moment here, and I'll catch up with it in a moment. That way, YouTube is not yelling at me saying you're stacking card on card. So I generally carry this, but um, for some reason, last couple weeks, I've rubbed myself a little raw playing some video games with the um, compass. So I've just switched over to, uh, I think it's a Jojo Ba or Jojo Wood, something like that. It, it comes out of the Holy Land, and it's from Rugged Rosaries. It's basically a little wrist, cro uh, wrist rosary made out of wood. And I did one on this one. I can't remember the exact name of the dang company. Oh, it just takes me off. Basically on there, it's got water from supposedly water from Mount Everest and somewhere down here there's there it is the solid black bee down here is filled with supposedly mud from the Dead Sea to help remind you to stay even at your highest highs or your lowest lows stay grounded so I kind of do some stuff to remind myself hey don't be a moron don't get ahead of yourself don't be foolish now another thing I've started carrying around recently is just a little Hank all right 
This is the first one I ever had did. Had it done up in a Spartan battle flag from a while ago. <clears throat> and it's good for just, you know, wiping things off or wiping sweat off or, you know, just clearing stuff. It's a neat little thing to have around. And I really didn't think much about carrying them until I joined that Everyday Carry group on Facebook that I've talked about a couple times before. Like I said, car keys, just a couple things of paracord. Always good to have cordage on you. Throw a little eyelet in there to kind of help preserve the cord. And there's the keys. On my keys, I carry this really dumb Swiss Tech little Utila key thing that's got like a blade, a pry, a little... It's really dumb. I put it on there. I've never used it. I've got keys for the house, the mailbox. <laughs> you know, church key. Bottle opener. And somewhere else on here. Yeah, the Gerber Shark. So... With paracord, with it being able to reach out, I can use it as kind of a get-back whip if I need to. So, you know, there's a little bit of self-defense in a keychain. I always have something on me that I can write with. <clears throat> and this is the CRKT James Williams Tactical Pen 2. It's up in that gear review. Now, speaking of that stuff, other items in here are going to be in the affordable Everyday Carry Blade Series. I'm going to leave a card for up there. All right. So now you can see re full reviews on everything, and I don't need to break everything down. Just simple pen, Fisher, space pen, refills. Worst comes to worst, you can use it as an implement as I drop it. <laughs> you know, little coubaton, get people back, little, you know, stabby pressure points. You know, if you have to, self-defense pen. It's never failed me when I've needed it, ever. Carry a little palm cross, so if I'm having one of those days, I can just put it in my hands and just start thinking, losing myself, rubbing it, and getting myself centered. It always seems to work out great for me. Always carry uh, like a little flashlight or, you know, for my British cousins, a torch. This one's just the Olight i3T EOS. And yeah, that's in the review and that gear reviews. Just doesn't have a lot of lumens. It has enough to get the job done and get me what I need. So, you know, I love having that around. Generally, right now, for Slicey, I'm carrying a Benchmade bug out. This was an incredible gift from a subscriber. And Chris, I still love you for it, brother. Seriously, I am just still to this day. Gets me right in the feels. But this is the go-to of choice. When I switch this one out, it's only because I'm testing out a brand new one for, you know, a review. And for that one recently, it's just the Kershaw Emerson CQC... I think it's five this one is but I'm kind of having fun with this one recently so I've been carrying it a lot as I'm making this video but my go-to is the Benchmade bug out I carry a small little pry bar uh, nothing. okay small little pry bar um, made out of copper it was a gift from somebody over in Italy who's very near and dear to my heart I love this thing and you know it, it, it works incredible not to mention a little bottle opener on there so I generally carry that. And for my time in the military, I am used to carrying challenge coins. Um, challenge coins mean a lot to me because generally they've been awarded to you for doing a good deed. And it's something really, really significant. Well, that everyday carry group I belong to, they made their own. At first, I was really hesitant. I really didn't want to buy them just because of that military background that you don't buy challenge coins ever. You get them awarded to you. Well, I had to look at it a different way and not see it as a challenge coin, but I carry one from the EDC Cooperative. Yes, I am a member of it. I don't know if I'm in good standing with them or not, but I've made a lot of incredible friends in there, a lot of worldwide friends in there, and that's okay by me. I've got people I know have my back, and I have theirs no matter what. But there's the backside of the coin. Like I said, nothing flashy, nothing fancy. You know, I am in the state of Washington. If I want to carry a fixed blade, I can. I usually don't, but if I do, it's the Gerber Strong Arm with BDZ1 Steel, and I can carry a neck knife if I want to. Lately, I haven't been because I've been trying to pare down my carry and lighten the load and take everything down. I have been rotating out some wallets, so I didn't show you that one. Um, generally, it's like a Travax element, so you know I've done reviews on that too, so you already know what it looks like. But that's mine, and that's what I carry. All right, this is my start. And this is what I am using. No, I'm not carrying a sidearm right now because I currently do not own one. You know, I'm not carrying a long gun. 
I can legally in Washington, you know, but I'm really not in the mood to trigger people and have cops beating down my door. But there's mine, guys. I'd love to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below. You know, I know someone's going to look at this and go, God, you're a moron. God, you're stupid. God, you should carry this. You should carry that. You should carry it. Great. Leave those comments. Let's start getting a great discussion going about what you carry on an everyday carry basis. And I'm not talking about what you think you need to carry to make you be some kind of badass. Let's get realistic. What do you carry? You know, leave it down below in the comment section. Let's get something great going. But now we're going to hit that wrap up, all right? For you first time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you so much for putting up with this one. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. We're going to try to build on this, all right? Like I said, at least once a quarter. At least once. Now, knowing me, it's probably going to be once a month I'm going to be releasing one of these videos with one little new play toy. I've swapped out this, I've swapped out that. It's just, it's the nature of the beast. You're never happy. But, like I said, your, your time is your most valuable commodity. I'm very grateful that you gave me some of it. I really hope I earned more of it today. Now, for those of you who didn't do it at the beginning of the video, and you longtime subscribers who haven't done it yet, here's a question. Why? Here's a great chance for you again right now because we believe in second chances here on the channel. Right down there. Going to be a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to take you right to subscribe. After you've knocked that out the way, please destroy the bell icon right next to it. Why? And this is a great thing. Not a lot of people are picking up on this. Once you click on that bell icon, it's going to let you turn notifications on. That way you, my amazing viewer, can get notified every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, we got two for you, popping up right over here. Those are videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. The start to my EDC videos, October 2019. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope all of you have a great day today.